Burning fat is a difficult process as it requires one to eat a select portion of foods that are deemed healthy by the general public, especially now as ultra-processed foods are on the rise worldwide. A common misconception that is carried among many people in the fitness community is that it is impossible to gain muscle and burn fat at the same time. While the statement is incorrect, it is not without good reasoning as to why many believe this. For starters, to gain optimal amounts of muscle, it is said that an individual should consume a surplus of calories, which contrasts the protocol for individuals who would like to lose fat, which would require them to consume fewer calories than they burn, or remain in a caloric deficit. With this basic rule of thumb, it may seem nearly impossible to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time, but this video will show you the basics of successfully gaining muscle during a caloric deficit while also losing body fat, commonly known as the process of a body recomposition by utilizing scientific studies and research. As mentioned earlier, a caloric surplus is strongly recommended for individuals who would like to maximize their muscular growth in a short amount of time, which directly contradicts the principle of a calorie deficit which would be needed to burn fat. While a caloric surplus is recommended for optimal muscle growth, it is not necessarily required. In fact, a study done on muscle growth in 2019 expresses that muscular hypertrophy is present within individuals in response to a novel weight training regimen and eating at a caloric deficit with the caveat of eating high protein foods. This growth was most pronounced among quote unquote overweight but otherwise healthy individuals. However, when observing the same effect among trained and skilled athletes that regularly expose themselves to a stimulus provided by resistance training, this response is unfortunately less pronounced. Therefore, various factors have to be considered when eating at a caloric deficit while attempting to build muscle. Some decide to eat around caloric maintenance to ensure muscular growth and prevent any unnecessary fat accumulation, which is definitely another option on the table for many individuals who would just like to build muscle mass without gaining any excess fat. While this process is difficult, it is also ideal for an overall healthy body transformation by addressing both processes of fat loss and muscle gain, and requires one to eat the most nutritious, calorie efficient foods. It should be no surprise that diet is a crucial component in a successful body recomposition. Factors within a diet such as adequate amounts of protein are imperative for a body recomposition that places an emphasis on building lean muscle mass, which involves maintaining a low body fat percentage. Carbohydrates are also important in supporting energy levels to execute strenuous resistance training workouts and fats also play a role in supporting hormonal health, among other critical functions. Protein, however, has proven to be an absolute priority for individuals who would like to increase their muscle mass. A study in 2015 involved two participant groups, one normal protein intake group who consumed 2.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, and a high protein intake group who consumed 3.4 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. After eight weeks, both groups gained the same amount of fat-free muscle mass, but the higher protein intake group reported higher fat loss than the normal protein group, even after eating a higher amount of calories. For a body recomposition, you would need to eat 200 to 300 calories under maintenance to render fat loss. As far as protein goes, you can determine the amount of protein you would consume on a daily basis. Beginners who are not experienced weightlifters can eat closer to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight, and for those who are more advanced, a protein intake that is closer to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight will be sufficient for achieving a successful body recomposition. You can split the remaining calories and allocate them for carbs and fat intake in whichever way that best suits your preference. Once you have this set, begin resistance training and stay consistent, which we will discuss in more depth later on in this video. Monitor your progress and adjust your training regimen as needed. Some great foods that can help you hit your macronutrient goals during a body recomposition are meat, seafood, eggs, legumes, tofu, and dairy products, such as milk and Greek yogurt. 
Another type of food to implement into your diet are foods that are rich in fiber. Fiber rich foods absorb water and move through the digestive tract slowly, which can help make you feel fuller for longer and can aid in weight loss. Now that we have covered the dieting aspect of a successful body recomposition, let's discuss another crucial part of this process, exercise. Exercise is another crucial component that plays an integral role in a successful body recomposition. To stimulate muscle mass gains, the skeletal muscles must be exposed to a stimulus, usually from resistance training. Resistance training exercises causes stress within the muscles, making the muscles undergo tiny microscopic tears. When one's muscles recover from stress and tension and are damaged, the body naturally repairs the damaged muscle fibers by fusing and making new myofibrils, or muscle fibers. However, this time, these myofibrils become more thicker and more numerous after recovering, which is known as a process of muscular hypertrophy, or muscle growth. For this process to successfully occur, one must eat enough protein based on their body weight and other factors, as mentioned previously. Many training splits can also be used as a convenient way for lifters to hit every muscle group. While some training splits have been proven to be more effective than others, what matters most is how consistently you can work out, which makes the ultimate difference. Now let's talk about an important factor of a body recomposition that can make or break this process, sleep. When women do not sleep sufficiently on a regular basis, levels of GLP-1, a hormone that signals satiety in terms of hunger is reduced significantly, and in men, when sleep deprived, have spikes of ghrelin, the hormone that signals that your body is hungry. One trial found that when people slept just five and a half hours a night over a two week period, they consumed an extra 300 calories a day, mostly from snacks such as pretzels, cookies, chips, ice cream, and candy. This makes complete sense if you think about it, as a lack of sleep causes a lack of energy to perform work and other daily activities. So in order to compensate for this lethargy, one would likely resort to high calorie junk food, causing a risk factor of obesity and many other conditions. The same could be said for the effect of sleep on exercise, as a night's worth of restful sleep is a factor that ensures a high performance workout, which promotes muscle productivity and optimizes anabolic growth, which could be hindered when deprived of sleep. Sleep is when most metabolic processes take place, including muscle growth and overall body regeneration, and nearly every single process that takes place in an individual's body depends on the quality of sleep that one receives. There are several supplements that can help individuals achieve their body recomposition at a more efficient rate. While supplements are totally optional, supplements are definitely a way for an individual to make the process of a body recomposition more efficient. There are three main categories as to how supplements can help one achieve their body recomposition. Some supplements help an individual reach their daily protein intake which is crucial for muscle growth and preventing fat gain, as explained previously. Whey protein, pea protein, and other forms of protein powder are commonly used to boost daily protein intake. Other supplements boost muscle growth by improving performance at the gym and overall making the process of building muscle more efficient. One such example of a supplement like this is creatine. There are also some amino acid supplements that have shown to stimulate human growth hormone and testosterone naturally, which are hormones that positively affect muscle growth. Some of these supplements include arginine and gamma aminobutyric acid. Arginine is an amino acid that is commonly found in red meats, poultry, fish, and dairy products. Gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA for short, is naturally produced in the body and serves the function of a neurotransmitter. GABA supplementation is not only safe, but has also been shown to render impressive results. One 2008 study has shown that taking a GABA supplement led to a 400% increase in growth hormone at rest and a 200% increase following exercise. 
While supplements may provide the extra boost one needs in their body recomposition journey, it is important to recognize the importance of prioritizing the three pillars of health, which is sleep, exercise, and diet. Without the prioritization of these three fundamental factors, a body recomposition would be nearly impossible.